All right, so this is Tuesday's homework help. Okay, this is Tuesday's homework help. Okay, so we're writing an equation. Remember when you write an equation, there's three steps. The first step is to find the slope, find m. The second is to find the y-intercept. And last is to substitute the m and the b into the slope-intercept form. So sub m and b. And what are we substituting it into? Slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And there you have a linear equation. Okay, so first step, x1, y1, x2, y2. We find in, you know. So use the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So on the top, we got 1 minus 7. And on the bottom, we have 0 minus 2. Okay. All right, so this gives us negative 6 on the top, and this gives us negative 2 on the bottom. So this is going to be a negative, a negative, a positive 3. Sorry, y'all. I'm <laughs> tripping. All right, so now the slope, uh, the B is going to be 1 because this is where the point, the line crosses the y-axis, wherever x is equal to 0. So my B here is going to be 1. So then you don't have to do all that extra work or those extra steps to find B. B is already given. So this is going to be y is equal to 3x plus 1. Remember, we're writing it in y equals mx plus b form. Your m is 3 and your b is 1. So all you do is substitute those values into the slope intercept form. Okay, let's look at number 2. We're finding the slope again. Label x1, y1, first point. x2, y2 is the second point. So we're going to put y2 on the top. This is 3 minus y1, 0, x2, 0, minus x1, 2. So this gives me 3 on the top, made this too long, and negative 2 on the bottom. So this is a negative 1 and a half, or 1.5. So now we're looking for, we're looking for b. b is already given again, which where x is equal to 0, so my b here is going to be 3. So to write my equation is y is equal to my m is negative. I can write it as the fraction, 3 over 2, or I can write it as a decimal, okay? x plus 3. This is the equation. All right, for this one, b is not given, so you're going to have to do a little bit more work. But let's find m first. x1, y1, x2, y2. Y2 minus Y1 on the top, so that's 6 minus 2. X2 minus X1 on the bottom, so that's 7 minus a negative 1. So on the top, this gives me 4, and on the bottom, this gives me 8. So this is going to be 1 half or 0.5, okay? To find B, you use Y equals MX plus B. And you substitute one of the points. I'm going to use the easier point, this one, and your m. So if I use this point, my y is 2, my m is a half, and my x is a negative 1. And put plus b. Half of a negative 1 is negative half. In order to get b by itself, you're going to add that half to both sides. So when you add a half to 2, you get 2 and a half. So your b here is 2 and a half. So we get y is equal to the slope, which is a half, x plus 2 and a half. Okay? You find m, you find b. You substitute your M and your B into the slope intercept form, okay? So you're going to do that for the other ones. I did half of it for you. 
If you still have questions, please, please don't hesitate to ask.